Hi guys, it's Princess Stanley. I am just getting up, making myself a cup of tea. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this hair. I know. But I think I have a lot of things on the schedule for today. Um I'm probably gonna plan some makeup. My chin is breaking out something like terrible. My whole face. Yeah. So the little one is watching nursery rhymes. So that's why he's so quiet. Yeah, my husband is running errands. But anyway, we're gonna see what the day brings us after this cup of tea. Okay, darling, so I have my tea and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to talk to you for a second. This morning, while we're watching Nursery Rhymes, I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple of things that, I don't know, it's pretty much just going to be a rant. That's pretty much what it's going to be this morning. Um, there are a couple of things that has come out that I have noticed. First off, it's the Huda Beauty. She remastered the whole palette. So... This new palette it has a few new colors in it and it also has a mirror my thoughts on that is I didn't buy the Huda Beauty palette in the first place I did go to shop hush and I bought the bad habit Athena and Aphrodite palette and I'm perfectly fine with that so secondly it's the Fenty Beauty She just came out with more kilowatts and I'm just not impressed at all. I'm just not, I'm, I'm, we're just gonna leave that there. Thirdly, Kylie Cosmetics has come out with the Momager. Those colors are so cool toned. They would probably look ashy on me. So I'm not even, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Like I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not impressed. I was not impressed with the Core X or the Kylie X Court, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. I just was not impressed. There's a lot of ish that came out. There, I'm not even gonna lie. There's a lot of ish. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm just not interested. Nothing has piqued my interest so far. It is what it is. And lastly, my last little rant before I get in the shower and get ready for the day. Lastly, lastly, I watch a lot of beauty influencers and I have noticed a pattern with the white. I swear to you, it's pr it's pretty. I'm not I'm not being a hater. I am not hating whatsoever. I'm not being a hater. Um I will, however, say, honey child, I have a baby. I have a six-year-old. I have a seven-year-old. I have... <laughs> Usually when I put on makeup, I'm making a mess of, of my makeup. And I get makeup everywhere. So this white thing, kudos to you guys because you keep it immaculate. Me, I'm just going to go with something dark. 
yeah I really want to spill nail polish on it and I yep yeah, I can't do it I can't do it I just, it just looks so lovely it looks lovely everything's all white and very luxurious looking and then you have the cute little white rug and I can't do it honey I just can't do it mm -mm. anyway that's enough for my rant I'm going to hop in the shower and change my clothes and yeah anyway that's enough of my ranting i'm going to get ready for the day and we'll just keep talking because that's like one thing that i've not done usually it's all tutorials or not even tutorials but get ready with me and showing you guys like how i put on my makeup and you know what techniques that i use and i really don't interact with anyone and that's what i need to start doing because i feel like you guys will look at my channel and just be like blah and, and get bored easily so we're gonna be talking about more than just makeup i have tons let me tell you guys my life is like a freaking movie I have thing I have subjects for days. I have subjects for days, honey. Whether it's fashion, which I have no kind of fashion sense whatsoever. I have none. I'm not gonna lie. I am a leggings and t shirt or a leggings and tank top type of girl I don't really wear heels I don't I'm not a tomboy I just I go for comfy that's what I go for I go for the comfort level I don't go for the whole dressy no I just don't I need to start though because I just need to start I don't know what's going on with this hair today it is just doing whatever. But anyway, I'm going to get ready for the day because I'm babbling. And I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, darlings. Okay, darlings. I am back. And I am. My face is popping on whatever. No, but seriously, I'm back and I, this is me. This is how I look, y'all. You like it? I hope so. Anyway, so I'm going to go through a list of the products that I use because like I said, I want to kind of talk to you guys a little bit more versus me just throwing on makeup and not interacting. So, we are going to start with the brows. For the brows, I use the AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil. It comes with a spoolie on one end and teardrop shape wind up on the other. Carve out my brows, I use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I pretty much just sculpted out my brows. To set my eye, I used, well, not to set my eye, but to prime my eye. I used a, <coughs> excuse me, I used the AOA concealer in the shade 2325, which is chestnut. And there's the color. And I pretty much just placed it over my whole lid to prime my eye to ready it for dun, 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 my eyeshadow. Now, with the eyeshadows, I'm just going to go through each palette one by one. Um, this is the first palette that I use. Box of crayons. Um, you can order it from thecrayoncase.com. It is very, very pigmented. 
I shouldn't even have to show you a swatch because they are there are tons of YouTubers who actually made a review on this palette. It comes with a mirror on the inside. And then here are the colors. And as I say, the colors are very, very, very pigmented. So in this palette, I actually used the color brown and I used the color tan. I used brown in my crease and I used tan on my brow bone. One being shitty, ten being the best, I rate this palette a definite ten. <clears throat> the second palette that I used, because in the beginning I did some talk about Huda Beauty and their rose gold palette and how they're coming out, they remastered it. Well, I said that I actually spent $26 that box of crayons palette with shipping and everything it came to $38 so $26 with shop hush app and I got the Aphrodite and the Athena they both come with mirrors both come with mirrors and then this is the Aphrodite palette and this is the Athena palette now these out of these two palettes I used the color seduction lust power truth and triumph um, I added a little red. I used Seduction, Lust, and Power in my crease. And I used Truth on my brow bone with tan. And I used Triumph on my lid. These are pigmented as well. We are going to use Sparks from Aphrodite and Tees from Aphrodite. And we'll do mattes from the Athena. We're going to do power since I used it and lore. And these are the colors from both palettes. As you can see, they're quite pigmented. As well. Those are those are the four. And like I said, it was twenty six dollars. And in all actual, in all actuality, I'm literally talking faster than my mouth can move. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm totally off subject with this, but I filmed a whole get ready with me, and I just hated how it turned out. So I'm just gonna talk to you guys instead. So that's how that's going to work. Um, but in all actuality, I do have Fenty products and I, I, I have Kylie products. I have higher end products. I like my Shop Miss A. I like my Shop Hush. Um, the Box of Crayons palette, that's an indie brand. Um, yeah, I like stuff like that. I, I, I like to get the bang for my buck. The last palette that I used was this Kara palette that I got from ikhouse.com. Um, all together with shipping, I paid $22. And I love the packaging. And pink is my favorite color. So, of course, I am loving this champagne pink color. There's no mirror in this. But this all glitters. All glitters. And I used this shade on my lid. I don't know if you can, you can't really see it. There we go. 
I used this shade on my lid. Love, 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 love these palettes. If I had to write them, I would get, you know what, they're all 10s to me because I wouldn't use them if I didn't like them. I mean, they have some fallout, but you could expect fallout. I mean, expect some fallout. Don't expect for them to be like flawlessly, just expect some fallout because there is some fallout. With that being said, onto my face. I decided that I was not going to do a full face of foundation only for the simple fact that I am definitely not going anywhere today. Like, I, I went and I picked the kids up from school. That's it. For the rest of the day, I'm just going to be in the house. So, this is like an at-home look. So, what I did was I took my Tarte Shape Tape in deep. And I highlighted the highlight points of my face. And then I took my Fenty Matchstick, a contour. After I blended it out, I used my handy dandy NYX Powder Contour. And I used my Powder Contour. Now to set my concealer, I went old school on y'all. I used my Cody Airspun. I love this ish. I live by this ish. You can't tell me anything wrong with Cody. I love everything. A lot of people complain about the smell. I love the whole vintage perfumey smell. I love it. So I'm gonna use it. Um to set my face. Here is where we get difficult. This is what I use as a setting spray. This is a mixture of peppermint essential oil, aloe vera, and some distilled water. I use this to set my face with, with a tad bit, a tad bit of witch hazel. This is what I use as my setting spray. I make it myself. I fucking love it. If you don't, you can always go with the Mac uh, Fix Prep and Prime. That that works. That Mac Fix. It works. I'm not gonna. It works. So if that's what you like to use, or Smashbox, or whatever else. That that's fine. Now, to go over my face, to set my whole face, I actually use this Bliss powder in espresso. That's what I use to set my whole face. Now we're going to get on to the lips because I feel like my lips need a little touch up anyway. So there are two colors that I am absolutely loving the most right now. And it is the ColourPop um, Ultra Matte. This is the Ellery X ColourPop in the color Anyways. And my AOA in the color blogger six seven dollars a dollar so um what I did was and I'm gonna just redo it and I'm gonna show you I took a brown liner I lightly lined my lips like so I went in on the outside with the color anyways. And this is awesome because you can get it on literally in one swipe. And then I went in the inside with blogger. And that is how I got my lip color. Basic, but cute. Um, 
my lashes. I actually got these lashes a while ago from Wish. I don't really wear lashes all the time. So I think I pay like a dollar. I think they were free and I had to pay like a dollar or two dollar shipping for 10 pair. Mm. That's what I use for lashes. Um, for blush, I used the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1. And I actually went in with the color Nia. That is what I use for my blush. And my favorite part, Dorley, my favorite, most favorite, favorite, favorite part is highlighter. Because I love highlights. I love to glow. Like, I'm guilty of the excess highlighter. I went in with my Tardius Pro Glow Kit. And I went in with the shade Fire. And that is what I used. And I highlighted my brow bone, the corners of my eyes, my cheeks, of course, and my nose. I didn't do the Cupid's bow. Well, I barely did the cutest bow, put it that way, because I didn't want it to really, really, really stand out, but that is what I used. And primer, um, when I use primer, I usually use this AOA Wonder Skin Poreless Primer, or I will spray my setting spray first, but those are like really all the products that I used I didn't go into detail about the brushes because I mean you've seen one brush you've seen them all I mean the brushes um the one thing that I can say is I typically I love shop miss a I I love shop miss a I I do like there's no shame in my game I like the fact that all of their items are a dollar you can kind of experiment with colors and not break your pockets so that's one of the, the aspects of shop miss a that i like and like i said i use ColourPop, i use Too faced i use tart i use kylie like i i have them all and i my everyday go-to is my shop miss a and my shop hush with the exception of my shake tape because I will use my shade tape and I use my Fenty to contour sometimes. But so that is everything that I use to create this look for this video. And I would definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate some feedback. I mean, come on now. You guys are subscribed. I would like to hear from you and you know let me know or ask questions feel free to ask questions I'm I'll answer them like you know don't be afraid and don't forget to like don't forget to share and please 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 subscribe but furthermore share because sharing is caring darlings sharing is caring Anyway, it's me, Princess Danny, and I am out of here.